In times of economic challenge, the increase in toxicity in leadership becomes more evident. The eminent psychologist David Hepburn has done some very interesting research. The research reports that 51% of employees don't trust their senior management team. A staggering 76% of employees have observed behaviours which were unethical and in some instances illegal within their senior management team. So what do leaders and organisations do to detoxify themselves? Well, the solution is green leadership. And what I'd love to explain to you is how we can develop a green climate within our organisations, giving fresh life and growth to project out of economic downturn. Toxicity is defined by the Oxford English Dictionary as poison. Being poisoned or being poisonous. What we're going to look at is how we move forward from this poisonous climate into this green, nourishing climate. So how is this toxicity behaviourally demonstrated? Well, in five major ways. Aggressive behaviour. Ineffective feedback. Low empathy. Fear motivation. And poor, ineffective team communication. The impact on this is dramatic within the climate of your organisation. Very recently in the Financial Times, this article appeared, profiling how toxicity had built up in a supplier relationship between National Express, the logistics company, and the government. Yes, there is a solution to toxicity, green leadership, and here are the simple steps to help develop and nourish a new climate within your organisations that will project you into a new future. Firstly, exemplarship. Being a role model of real values and actions, even when the going gets tough. Open and honest feedback. A transparency that develops trust in relationships. Motivational feedback, whether it's positive or developmental, to encourage green shoots of growth. Integrity. Constantly, consistently being someone who can be trusted. All of this will contribute to developing a green climate within your organisation. Essential for growth moving forward.